Hi guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the integrating YouTube Android player into an Android application. We are still on the parent source code from the video consuming video streaming and download links API in Android using the ALUX search engine. We'll be building further. What about we're going to implement the custom full screen handling of the YouTube player? We'll look into the best practices for handling full screen video playback. This custom full screen handling method is preferred because the YouTube player's default full screen implementation causes rebuffering of the video. In this tutorial, we will achieve an automatic full screen when the device orientation changes to landscape. Let's get started. Right there in Android Studio, uh, we will only make uh, changes to few files, the XML and the video player Java class. In the video play XML, well, you get to include the YouTube player view. We have it set out this way, a linear layout wrapped around the view. And the YouTube player view stands out uh, from the nested linear layout. With an idea of player and the width and height match parent wrap content respectively. Now we have a layout view which has an idea of other views uh, where you get to uh, pass along the video name, the video description and other aspects of the metadata of the particular video. So you have that as a text view. Just the video name will be ok for now. So once you have this layout set up, you get to uh, implement some of the functionality right there in the Java class. Let's we'll straight to the Java class which is the video player where we'll get to talk about how to undo the full screen. We're going to undo the full screen by ourselves. So we're, we're not going to rely on the default full screen given to us from the video player. Now it extends the YouTube failure recovery activity. We all know that. And it implements the YouTube player on full screen listener. On full screen listener. So with this method, you need to override some few methods. You, you need to override uh, the YouTube player provider where you're going to get the YouTube player provider. You need to override the on full screen method and the on configuration changed method. Those are the few methods you'll be overriding right there in your code. Need to inclusion. We'll be expecting an intent which is the video title and the video ID from the main activity. That's why we have a static keys uh, which was called, which was pushed in the intent from the main activity. Now the base layout is being initialized. The player views, which is the linear layout, uh, the YouTube player rather, the YouTube player view, which we have that right there in the XML, also initialized. The other views, uh, which is the linear layout uh, for other views, also initialized. And uh, we get to get the extras and the, ex the string from this constant uh, which we have the title and the video ID calling from the main activity. A peep to our main activity we will still understand how the intent has been triggered over here. The intent uh, which pushes the current stream get title method that's the the pojo from the uh, current stream and the video ID uh, being pushed with an intent to the video player or the video play class. So you have that set up here on each list item click. So you have that set up with that. So cool. And you still need uh, your API key. Don't forget your developer API key over here. You have to lock in the details there. It shouldn't be null. Once it's null, it's going to crash. So you have to have your API key. You could get that from the Google Developer Console and set up your application and pick up your API key from there. Let's move further. Still right on the video player, uh, we have that set up and now let's get to look at more details. I'll get to talk about the resume later on. Uh, let's look at the initialization success uh, where we get to have the provider, the player and the uh, boolean was it restored or not. Cool. You need to initialize the player to the player view and specify that we want to handle full screen behavior ourselves. That's where you have the full screen 
control flag calling the full screen flag custom layout I set listener to that so if it was not restored it's going to queue the video that's where you'll be able to pass the video ID from the internet and you have a record of each video right there in the player now let's get to look at the do layout which was called right there in the onCreate method you have a do layout here even after the player view would have initialized your API key and uh, get you authenticated the do layout it is with the layout parameters where you get to display uh, the video player appropriately very important we're going to use that and uh, if you should notice there's a test if it's a full screen which kind of view are you expecting if it's not which kind of view do you want to display now if it's a full screen probably your landscape uh, when in full screen the visibility of all other views when the player should be set you just have to set all other views to gone probably you have a linear layout sitting somewhere or you have some text visiting somewhere when it's full screen you don't really need to show that so you have to add set visibility that's why I wrapped around any layout any text layout around the linear layout let's get a look at that again if you notice the linear layout so text views are wrapped around this layout and you could easily set this view this layout to gone or to invisible when you are on the landscape so the width and height of the lay player params uh, could be set to match parents respectively both could be set to match parents so it's going to be full width and full height and the visibility could be gone at full screen else definitely it's in portrait uh, the, you need to undo this yourself it depends on how you really want it to show so you could set visibility to other views let's see that because uh, it's actually going to just wrap content at the height of the video and uh, you still have the layout params for, and you could also text for configuration if it's the orientation is landscape and if, if it's orientation is landscape you could wrap the content to the height and the width set uh, that uh, appropriately and you could also do some other things so that's why you have the if else if it's orientation is landscape and if it's not uh, you set that to vertical so that's just gonna undo uh, if you are either in a portrait mode of uh, your device so cool the do layout is actually going to display uh, the, the the necessary screen screen when you are on different screen rotation on full screen uh, it takes in the volume either true or false if it's full screen or not if it's full screen it's going to initialize uh, the it's full screen to the full screen boolean created earlier which is right there out of the scope right there the full screen so it's actually going to make that true so that's just what that is doing and it calls on the do layout and the do layout will be able to detect is in full screen or not or is in portrait or landscape so that's just the essence of that and on configuration changed uh, that's when you have a different flow of uh, screen orientation uh, it's going to call on the super on configuration changed and passing the new configuration either portrait or landscape and still make a drawing again call on the do layout to specify which kind of view do you really need to display now with all said and done uh, you still need to undo the the life cycle of this particular activity in the sense that even when uh, you want an automatic landscape or when you orientate your device from portrait to landscape and you want a full screen you don't really need uh, any any worries there you just need a full screen when it's on landscape and when it's on portrait you need uh, the normal size so you could also handle this in your own resume method you can handle it in all the resume you could do that in your own parts you could do that in your own stats so it depends on where you really need uh, that to display but it could be cool in your own resume in the on resume method which you have right there you call on the super on resume and test for the orientation the present orientation of the device so where you call the get resources get configuration and the orientation if it's equals to the landscape you undo some code there if not you just maintain the default do layout uh, display now if it's if the orientation is landscape you go further to do some things you set the visibility of the other views to gone or invisible 
and uh, you add the flags to the to the window manager of the layout params where you put a flag full screen you want a full screen so the title bar will be uh, hidden and this is actually going to stretch out and make the uh, the video look so bold and full on landscape mode so this line is cool very very important as well actually going to hide the title bar and uh, you still need to set the player params layout uh, where you need to still call the with the night match parent respectively to the view so it's actually going to take full uh, width and full height of the display with this on resume will be triggered anytime you change your rotation so this we actually run so this is going to force the device to a full screen mode or landscape once you have this setup or resume is always triggered anytime you change your rotation of the device and it's going to actually make this work so with this analysis you can see that you could handle uh, the full screen mode by yourself and this is actually not going to disturb uh, the flow of the of the video uh, it's not actually going to make it rebuffer anymore probably once you are in probably you played the video to a, to a minute and you need to change your rotation to landscape you're not going to start from the beginning it's actually not going to reload the video it's just going to start from where it stopped that's the beauty of handling the custom full screen yourself and it's just an extension of what you had it's not like you're creating a new uh, display anytime you change your rotation so this is a very recommended way to handle full screen when it comes to integrating of YouTube Android player into an Android application I'll be showing you the demo of this uh, analysis and uh, you will actually see how the flow works and you see how uh, the video is being consistent across different orientation and uh, I'll also be committing the code to my github to a branch called custom full screen which is quite a little bit different from the normal view this is much more better and I'll also be sharing that to the github link so thank you guys for hanging out with me if you have any question whatsoever when it comes to uh, how to set up a custom full screen using the YouTube Android player please leave a comment below and don't forget to strike on the button if you've not done that subscribe to my channel thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this video and bye bye for now